Simonsach, a family-owned wine estate in the world-famous Stellenbosch region, has always had a pioneering influence on the wine industry in South Africa. It was here that South Africa's first Method Cup Classic, Kapsa Fonkel, was made. Method Cup Classic, or MCC, is South Africa's name for champagne, a term coined by a small group of winemakers who founded the Cup Classic Association in 1992, with Simonsach Cellarmaster Johan Malan as founding chairman. Wine has been made in South Africa since 1659, but it was only after Simonsach's founder, Franz Malan, returned from a visit to Champagne in 1969 that he was inspired to make a Method Champenoise wine. In 1971, he made South Africa's first bottled fermented sparkling wine and christened it Carpse Fonkel, meaning Sparkle of the Cape. Originally, he used Chenin Blanc grapes, and it was only in 1987 that our Carpse Fonkel Brut blend changed to include Pinot Noir and Chardonnay, the classic noble varieties used in Champagne. Our prestigious Cup Classic, the Cuvée Royale Blanc de Blancs, is made using 100% Chardonnay grapes. For our classic Carp Fongo Brut, we use Pinot Noir and Chardonnay. And our Carp Fongo Brut Rosé is made using three Pinot varieties, Pinot Noir, Pinotage and Pinot Meunier. In response to new trends among Cup Classic enthusiasts, our new sweeter styles of MCC are Saturn Nectar and Saturn Nectar Rosé. The influence of the cold Atlantic Ocean and the well-drained decomposed shale soils provide the ideal conditions for growing our Cap Classic grapes, forming well-balanced base wines with perfect structure and a hint of minerality. The grapes are harvested by hand early in the season to retain the subtle fruit notes and delicate character that ensures a fresh base wine with enough fresh acidity. Immediately after picking, the grape bunches are gently pressed whole to ensure only the most delicate juice is extracted from the berries. The first juice to run from the press is known as the cuvee, which represents the cream of the crop. Only the very best cuvées will make its way into our Carps of Fonkel. This freshly pressed juice is settled for 12 to 24 hours to clarify and the clear juice is transferred to stainless steel tanks to begin the first fermentation. Yeasts are added to convert the sugar in the juice into alcohol. During the first fermentation, the temperature is kept constantly cool at 15 degrees centigrade for around 18 to 21 days to maximize the freshness of the fermenting juice. For our Carp Fonkel, a portion of the Chardonnay Cuvée is fermented in French oak barrels. This tradition is practiced at top quality houses in Champagne, and here at Simonsach we do so to add a luxurious creaminess to our Cup Classic. After meticulous tastings by our winemakers, the finest base wines are expertly blended and the liqueur de tirage, a mixture of the blended base wine, yeast and sugar, is added to the tank to kickstart the secondary fermentation process before bottling takes place. Each bottle is sealed tightly with a crown cap and the second fermentation can start in the bottle. The yeast converts the sugar into alcohol and the millions of tiny bubbles develop naturally, gathering rich flavors and texture from the thyme on the lees. This is a slow, natural process where the yeast cells autolyze and release flavors and other compounds into the wine, greatly enhancing the quality and complexity. After the required time on the lees, the bottles go through remuage, the riddling process, which settles the yeast sediment into the neck of the bottle in an upside-down position. This involves gradual turning and inversion of the bottle, done by hand or by automated gyro pallets, slowly bringing the sediment into the neck of the bottle. When the wine is clear and ready to be disgorged, the neck of each bottle is frozen and the frozen sediment forms an ice plug in the neck of the bottle. 
The crown caps are then removed and the immense six bars of pressure in the bottle shoots out the frozen sediment, a process called degorgement. A final liqueur de dosage is added to round off the complexity of the cup classic and the wine is corked with a natural champagne cork and a wire cage or muselet is applied to keep the cork safely in the bottle. Each of our cup classics have their own distinct style, from refreshing and playful characters to the mature and complex. They are able to accompany a diverse range of cuisines. From the finesse of our prestigious Cuba Royale, the classic sophistication of our original Cap Sifonco Brut and our bright berry fruit, naturally elegant Brut Rosé to our most recent sweeter editions, the sublime Satin Nectar and the romantic colors and fragrant aromas of the Satin Nectar Rosé. All of Simon Sachs Cup Classics are destined to add a sense of pure luxury and enjoyment Anytime, anywhere. Kapse Fonkel, a name synonymous with Simonsach, paved the way for Method Cup Classic in South Africa, a category that has grown into what is arguably the most vibrant sector of the wine industry today. Kapse Fonkel, South Africa's legendary first Cup Classic. Make every moment memorable. Welcome back. I'm sitting with Johan, wine director from Simensich. Welcome, Johan. It's absolutely exciting to have you on the couch this morning. Thank you very much, Lindy. It's very nice to be here. Yes, lovely. So can you tell us about the rich heritage and history behind Simensich? Yeah, Simensich is a, a family-owned business and dates back to my grandfather who first bought the estate in 1942. Okay. Uh, my father was then second generation. Mm -hmm. uh, started in 1953 and then we are three brothers so we wow. were um, the ones that took over from from him uh, in the early 80s so okay. fortunately now they're also a, a fourth generation involved yes. my son is also a, a winemaker like me and yes. my niece is the the financial manager so yeah. she's in the accounting side so make sure that uh, the uh, the money methods are as good as the wine. Okay, perfect. That's lovely. So what is Simonsich best known for? Yeah, I think during the time when, when Simonsich started in 1968, and that was when the label or the first mm -hmm. wines were bottled under the Simonsich label, uh, my father was a, a very innovative person okay. with a lot of vision yes. and uh, also loved traveling. So okay. he visited the uh, famous uh, traditional wine countries of Europe, France, Italy, uh, Spain, Germany, yeah. and came back with a lot of new ideas. And one of the, the ideas that uh, he pursued in South Africa was after visiting the Champagne yeah. region in France, uh, okay. where they make the traditional method champenoise or the okay. champagne method. And he thought, why can't I do that sure. in South Africa? Yes. So um, in 1971, he, uh, re he made the first Carps of Funkel. Now, Carps of Funkel means sparkle of the Cape. Lovely. Because South Africa has got an agreement with France that we're not allowed to, to use their regional name. So we, okay. we won't put Champagne or Chablis or one of those names okay. on the label. So he had to come up with a, a name to call his very innovative wine. And he called it Carps of Funkel, very mm -hmm. truly South African. And uh, that was in 1971. Um, during the years, uh, yeah. I also uh, made some changes along the way, changed okay. the the grape varieties in the blend to, mm -hmm. to be exactly the same as in, in Champagne, uh, meaning Chardonnay, which is a white grape, mm. uh, Pinot Noir is a yes. black grape, and Pinot Minier as well. Okay. And uh, so the method we use, the way we make the wine and the grape varieties, very similar to what they do in France, but mm -hmm. I always think that we're not trying to make a copy of, of French Champagne because uh, yeah. we are from South Africa, yes. we've got we're our unique. own soils, our own climate. Yes. So uh, one thing that we have in South Africa that's not available in, in Champagne is sunshine. So <laughs> we have uh, a lot of uh, South African sunshine. Yeah. And I think I always believe that you must be able to taste the sunshine mm -hmm. in the wine. And that means we get um, ripeness in the grapes mm -hmm. much easier and more consistently Lovely. than what they do in, in Champagne. So our wines tend to be 
more fruit driven mm. more uh, fruity in style and i think that's a that's an important mm. uh, distinction between the french version and the south african version and your award-winning um champagne yeah um yeah. so with the the 50th anniversary uh, yeah. we wanted to do something that to commemorate this uh, major event and something that has happened uh, in in recent years is that there's a whole new generation drinking wine in South yes. Africa, and uh, obviously, when you when you're new to wine, mm. the, the easiest way to to get to know it better, firstly, you you have to find something that you enjoy drinking, that that you find pleasurable. And although more advanced, more experienced wine mm. drinkers will probably drink something that's really dry or red wines and so on, but for the the palate that's still finding its yeah. way in, into this uh, vast uh, new um, discovery of wine mm. is something with a little bit of sweetness is, is something yeah. that uh, makes it easier to to appreciate and to enjoy so we uh, released these two mm -hmm. wines um, they are called satin nectar and okay. satin nectar rosé but in South Africa the the word nectar in in, in Cap Classique uh, refers to uh, a style that the French call demi sec yeah. which means half dry okay maybe off dry is a okay. better um, description and yeah. uh, it, so it's got a little bit of sweetness to it but um, we we had this uh, beautiful packaging designed mm -hmm. to to show something that's uh, a depiction of the um, Cape Floral Kingdom yeah. so we have uh, three uh, flowers on in the design the Strelitzia mm -hmm. the Cape Star and of course the the, the Cape Dyser which is uh, uh, part of the design which uh, shows mm. what we, we like to refer to as the um, Africa rising because yeah. it's very bold, it's very striking yeah. and it, uh, it, it's something that I think says something about the country of origin. Absolutely, it's beautiful, I love the packaging, it's bright, it's bold and it says a lot about our heritage. Um, Stellenbosch, you based in Stellenbosch, the most well-loved destination um, area in South Africa. Um, tell us about some of the uh, local sites and, and the things that people can do when they visit Stellenbosch or Simmenseche. Yes, um, I think uh, we are so close to Cape Town, mm. only 35 uh, kilometers. We are very close to the sea. I think okay. that has a very important role in, yeah. in terms of climate. Mm. When it comes to wine, it has a very moderating effect on, on the temperatures. Yeah. Um, but Stellenbosch has got the oldest wine route in South Africa, which incidentally was also founded in 1971 by my father, Franz Milan. Okay. The owner of Speer Estate in those days yes. was uh, Mr. Neil Joubert. Okay. And uh, the owner of uh, Delheim Wines was uh, Spat Sperling. And they were the three pioneers that uh, sure. founded the wine route. And I yeah. can tell you, it wasn't that easy uh, to convince people that we're going to open the farms, we're mm -hmm. going to in, um, receive visitors. Mm -hmm. So it was a foreign concept mm -hmm. at the time, but if you see how much it has grown, it's, it is actually a visionary uh, thing that they did. And I don't think they ever imagined that it would become not only a wine route, but it's almost uh, a food route as well, Lovely. because some of the, the best restaurants in South Africa are uh, situated on on some of these wine okay. estates in Stellenbosch and that brings the wine and the food together so you can you can come and experience some of the best wines mm. in the country but also some of the best restaurants and mm. and today they are uh, close to uh, 150 180 wine estates in mm -hmm. in the in the region that you can come and visit and the okay. diversity and of course the beautiful old Cape Dutch homes mm. makes it a, a fantastic uh, destination. Beautiful. And what's your favorite, if I may ask? Um, in our range, we have the, the original Carps of Funkel uh, that's brut, so it okay. means it's dry. We have a, a brut rose that's uh, slightly pink, and we all know that uh, uh, rose is a category of wine that's grown in popularity mm -hmm. a lot in the past few years. And then we have the two satin nectars the one is the white one and the satin nectar rosé is pink uh, right on the top like what we call the prestige cuvee is, yeah. is a wine uh, called the cuvee royale so it's like the royal cuvee okay and uh, it's it's a blanc de blanc so blanc de blanc means it's made from white grapes so it's a white wine using white grapes 
Um, normally that's a little bit older when it's released, so okay. I'd say for special occasions, yeah. um, I really love that because with time, like red wine, these wines also tend to develop a bit more uh, complexity and depth of flavor. So um, a Cuba Royale will be for yeah. high days and holidays and birthdays. <laughs> Lovely. Um, but any of the other four, I think uh, it depends on the occasion. There's something that I always love to say yeah. about um, Cops of Funkel and, and Cup Classique is that okay. it's so versatile. Uh, it's, it's the only wine we regularly drink with breakfast. Okay. So uh, with your champagne breakfast, uh, with some orange juice or yes. not, that's your decision. And of course, before the meal as an aperitif to, mm -hmm. to whet, whet your appetite. Mm -hmm. And then of course, uh, um, during the meal as well, it's a wine that, that suits many different types of food. Yeah, and of yeah. course, when it the clock strikes 12 at the <laughs> New Year's Eve, what else Definitely. do you open? You celebrate with a <laughs> bottle of uh, Carps of Funkel. So mm -hmm. it's a wine for all occasions. Lovely. So where can we get your lovely wines? We are available in, in quite a few of the stores. Uh, if you look at the top stores, uh, there's a really beautiful one here mm -hmm. in, in Hillcrest, okay. Liberty Liquors. We actually make a, a special exclusive uh, Cup Classique for Woolworths, okay. which doesn't contain any sulfur. So okay. quite often Great. people yeah. are, there are people who are sensitive yes. to sulfur in the wine. Yeah. And uh, this one we make without using any sulfur. So mm -hmm. um, the people who are um, not allergic, but they're sensitive to sulfur, mm -hmm. they often say that this one is, is one that they never get a headache or a reaction. So yeah. something to try. It's made from okay. Pinot Noir and uh, really a beautiful wine That's too. That's lovely. Okay. All right. and. Um, all the other stores, normal uh, retail yeah, stores as well? Yeah, other stores as well. Um, okay. We have uh, good distribution okay. um, uh, in, in KwaZulu Natal mm -hmm. and uh, throughout the rest of South okay. Africa. If you really battle, you can also go to our online um, wine shop and, and order, order it because sometimes people live uh, in, yeah. in remote areas and that's, that's also another way to get hold of the wines. Thank you so much. It was lovely having you. Is there anything else that you want to add or share with our viewers this morning? Yeah, I, I think there's always uh, a saying that the wine always tastes best under the roof it was made. So okay. we always encourage and invite people to come and visit Simonsach and uh, enjoy the natural beauty of, of the area and uh, come and taste the wine yeah. under the roof it was made. So it's, uh, we are open seven days a week, okay. uh, only New Year's Day and Christmas Day and a few others we, <laughs> we're not open. But you'll find us uh, on, on uh, the website and you can always phone the estate to find out more. We do wine tastings, we do, uh, f um, it's currently, a, a, there was a food pairing. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's a lot of things to do. You can do a salad tour as well. So it, it, uh, it makes good education even for children. Yes. Because you can have a, an experience mm. of how wine is made. So festivals are coming back. People are dying to get out and, and interact and just go get back to the good old fun days. <laughs> are there any special events coming up later well, in the year? <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm actually up here in Durban like uh, many other winemaker okay. colleagues for the Buxton's Wine Festival. And uh, that's uh, something that we've missed out on the mm. past few, yes. few years. And it's yeah. always been a very popular event mm -hmm. uh, uh, winemakers love coming up to Durban because <laughs> it's, it's so much more uh, enjoyable than, yes. than other parts of the country where it's just uh, high-rise buildings. So yeah. if there's something happening in Durban, okay. uh, we're all here. So uh, that, that is something that's yeah. showing that slowly but surely we're returning to normality no. um, mm. later in the year. There's also a huge event, uh, international event, called Cape Wine 2022, okay. which is from 5 to 7 uh, October. And okay. that's also been uh, uh, delayed uh, during COVID. And, mm. and I think it's important uh, not only for, for local uh, people in the trade, but also international people are, are flying out to South Africa. So it's a big event. Uh, the highlight it only happens yeah. every second year. So this is going to be... Um, a really it's important lovely. one just to almost tell people that the industry that uh, has been in lockdown mm. didn't stand still there's yes. always been uh, a lot of mm. progress and and i think south yeah. african wine at this stage is at a level where we've never been so internationally we're getting a lot more mm. uh, recognition 
uh, is in terms of, of the quality that has improved yeah. so much over the years. Yeah. And uh, so we, it, some of the winemakers even say that South Africa now is the most exciting wine yeah. country in the world. So a lot to, to look forward to. Okay, and what are the future plans for Simmons as a brand that has such a rich and, and strong uh, heritage and culture in, the, in, the, in our market? What are the next plans? What are we looking forward to? Um, you know, the, the wine business is a very long-term business. Once mm -hmm. you plant a vineyard, it will be in the, uh, producing for at least yes. 30 years, yeah. sometimes mm -hmm. uh, even longer. Um, this current year, we are focusing um, on our still wines, which means... Uh, our Chenin Blanc, which we, we've just had our 52nd vintage yeah. going into the bottle. Okay. Um, our Sauvignon Blanc, the red wines, Cabernet Sauvignon, mm -hmm. uh, the Shiraz, the Pinotage. So the still wines are definitely uh, still very much part of our portfolio. And we are uh, going to, to focus a lot on, on that uh, during this year. Um, especially, I think, what uh, Stellenbosch is famous for is uh, Cabernet Sauvignon. Yeah. Um, because the variety is, is quite selective in terms of mm -hmm. where it does well. So I always uh, think that Stellenbosch has got all the, the parameters that, that's required to make really world-class Cabernet. And, and that means uh, it's something that we are going to yeah. champion a lot more uh, in the future. Okay. Uh, so C Stellenbosch Cabernet Collective is, a, is an organization we founded to do just that, to, okay. to promote Cabernet from the Stellenbosch region. Okay. So they're also planning certain events, but I don't know the, the details at this stage. Thank you, Johan. It was lovely having you this morning um, and learning so much about your beautiful brand and, and your lovely wine selections. Thank you to our guests, viewers and sponsors. We're closing off with a music video from Ray Dillon for Inns in Mayleva.